Hey everybody, how you doing? It is still September 7th, but I wanted to get out this video because I just could not believe that this is happening and people still believe that, you know, Mother Nature is in control of the weather, that it's not manipulated and modified. Check this story out. Weather whiplash from record-shattering heat to cold and snow. It says, the best way to describe the weather across the West is bonkers. In a matter of days, the region will experience some of the hottest weather ever recorded in California. A strong downslope wind event, igniting fire concerns, a 70 degree swing in temperatures in Denver, and an extremely early snowstorm walloping Colorado, New Mexico, and Wyoming. People actually think that this is um, not set up, not modified. Guess what they're, just check all this. It says, if that's not bizarre enough, partly powering the chaotic pattern are two back-to-back -back typhoons thousands of miles away in Japan and North Korea. Throw in some human-caused climate change, see, they gotta push the climate change, which is playing a role, and the weather does not get any more extreme. Well, with that extreme, I just wanted to show you something from the movie Geostorm. <laughs> Everyone was warned, but no one listened. A rise in temperature, ocean patterns changed, and ice caps melted. They called it extreme weather. They didn't know what extreme was. In the year of 2019, hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, and droughts unleashed a wave of destruction upon our planet. We didn't just lose towns or beachfronts. We lost entire cities. The East River swallowed Lower Manhattan. A heat wave killed two million people in Madrid in just one day. But in that moment, facing our own extinction, it became clear that no single nation could solve this problem alone. The world came together as one, and we fought back. Scientists from 17 countries, led by the US and China, worked tirelessly, not as representatives of their nations, but of humanity. They found a way to neutralize the storms. With a net of thousands of satellites, each deploying countermeasures designed to impact the basic elements of weather, heat, pressure, and water, all overseen by the International Space Station. It gave the satellite net a technical name, but we all came to call it Dutch Boy, after the story of the child who plugged a dam with his finger. is what saved us all. And it was built by a team led by one man. My father. Now, I have always said, that looks like what Starlink is. Okay, I'm not saying up in space. I'm saying they're just up above us, you know, wherever. But they may be controlling all of this weather or at least be influencing it just like you have your you know your harp and all, all the stuff that we have you know that we know is down on the ground um but isn't it just amazing how they oh ex we, they called it extreme weather well yeah exactly because you knew everything you knew what you were going to do and you know here it is you know you know here's another one 60 degree temperature drop snow and freeze uh, this is happening, even though yeah. it's 90 degrees outside right now. You are promising us it's going to get a lot colder and soon. <laughs> it is going to be so unbelievably, shockingly cold tomorrow morning. Pinpoint weather alert day for that cool down alone, not to mention the snow. The smoke out there, a huge problem. It is literally snowing ash right now in downtown Denver and especially in the northern burbs. Uh, once you get up toward Thornton, Thornton, Westminster, Arvada, and of course Loveland and Fort Collins, this Cameron Peak fire is the main cause of the smoke. 
from that ash, but we're also catching smoke from the East Fork fire in northeastern Utah. That one's sending a lot of smoke into the region. So there, there is smoke from multiple sources, but the Cameron Peak fire may only get worse before it gets better. It's now up to nearly 60,000 acres, up from 34,000 late last week. And with a windy day today and a red flag warning, the conditions there will continue to get worse. The fire could spread. The smoke could get a lot more prolific this afternoon. Needless to say, air quality warning up and down I-25. Wildfire smoke advisory for Larimer County, including Fort Collins. Particulates, that is the soot, the ash, the dust, those are all making the air very unhealthy. Truly uh, not a good day to go running even for a few minutes or biking or anything outside. Just wait a couple of days here. We're about to have some major changes come in. But yes, red flag warning in effect. Here's the problem. We've got an Arctic cold front coming. That's going to knock those temperatures down. It's also going to really help out on the fire fight tomorrow with heavy snow in the mountains. But as it approaches, we're going to have really gusty winds. That could make the fire a lot worse before it gets better. So near record heat today, major cold front tonight, snow tomorrow, and cold. We're looking at highs tomorrow in the low to mid 30s. What a change that will be. Download the Pinpoint Weather app. It's got all the details when you're away from Fox 31 as this Arctic front makes a run at the front range tonight, arriving around 9 o'clock, but out ahead of it, becoming very windy. And after this afternoon, once we get into the 90s, we'll rank number one for the most 90-degree days in any summer in Denver history. So how is it possible that we go from this record heat to a heavy snow event? Because Colorado. So you have, that's just crazy. They're really close to 100. You know, and to be going from that one day, less than, you know, 48 hours later to get slammed with this type of a snowstorm, you know, and it's not just some little storm. There you go. Here's your, uh, your alert coming out of NOAA, right? Get that bigger for you. All right. A winter storm warning. Winter storm warning in the middle of the summer. They just were talking about how high, the hottest it has been pretty much ever. You know, you hear them talking that it's as hot as it possibly could have been. And uh, the next day you get this. I mean, they, look at this. What's expected? Total snow accumulations of 5 to 6 inches. In fact, 5 to 16 inches. Uh, it says 48 inches in northern El Paso County. Winds gusting as high as 40 miles an hour. Like, this is so controlled. This is so... Um, just uh they're using this non-stop you know i had another article pulled up but i don't know where i put it here uh but anyways it was uh they're talking about all the shelters right for the winter storm now and not only that you got people that were all evacuated so that people could uh you know get to safety because they said it was going to be so bad you know like here look at unprecedented and dangerous fire conditions close los padres national forest in slo county this is in California, but so they're, you know, they're just hitting everywhere right now. You know, you either have, you either have, you know, here, here's the map right here. Check this out. I mean, you have all over here is just extreme heat, wildfire warnings, wildfire warnings, you know, but then look at this in, in uh, Colorado, you have winter storm warnings that surround all the way around the wildfire warnings, red flag warnings. This is completely insane. We have fires completely devastating everything because they say it's all because of the heat. And then literally the next day you have freezing warning, freeze warnings and, you know, going to get anywhere upwards two, three to feet of snow. All right, I'm going to leave this here. I'm working on a couple other videos that I really want to have out for you tomorrow, but I definitely needed to do an update on this because, you know, they're even talking right here that, um, you know, they're evacuating people that it's still that tomorrow is going to be a horrible, horrible day. All right. So it's just um, you, we have to be careful. You know what I mean? We have to watch this biggest temperature drop in 150 years expected Tuesday, bringing snow to Fort Collins. Yeah, that's natural, right? Yeah, that's natural. That's natural weather. Yeah, right. And then you tack this on to them where they're saying you may want to remain indoors. Air quality advisories issued across Colorado. So they're hitting you with fires. They're hitting you with snow. They're hitting you with, you know, your air quality. So pretty much everything is what? Stay in your house. Don't go do anything. Listen to us. Obey us. Follow our rules. And then maybe, you know, maybe we'll, uh, we'll let you come out when it's safe. You know, it's just, um, it's bad. It really, really is bad. You know, right here, extremely dangerous fire threat in the West after historic weekend heat while the Rockies await freak snow. 
I mean, this is just crazy, right? How can anybody think this is normal? You know, California wildfire burns at least two dozen homes in a small mountain town. Everybody is just being attacked over and over and over again. You know, I just, we need to pray for these people right now. You know, you got fires in Utah, you know, they're surrounded as well. You know, I mean, look at this. You had plenty of winter storm warnings. It's just, this is just so obvious. I know it is to you as it is to me, but, um, I just wish the masses could see this. It's right in front of your eyes. It's, uh, they control the weather 100% now. So you better learn about it, get used to it, and plan and prepare for it. So I love you all. Stay safe. Stay strong. We'll talk to you real soon. God bless.